So I've got this cylinder and I'm gonna, this button right here is called enable access. So if the access is a little bit off, right? I'm gonna turn, so you, you enable it when it's blue, you can move the access around, right? And then when you turn it back to gray, then it's not, you move the object, right? And that can be really helpful when you're animating. But if I were to, you know, take this and rotate it now, it's gonna spin in a little bit of an oblong kind of way, right? So if we look at it from above, if I spin this around 360, it's not quite in the center, right? So that's gonna affect how you, you animate something. Um, and, but you can use it to your advantage as well, right? So if, if you wanted that kind of like wobbly kind of effect, you could certainly enable the access and rotate it accordingly. Um, you might also want to, so quickly then, especially when you're working at the zero, zero, zero the center point, I can always just take the position and zero it back to zero here, and then it'll be in the center. But additionally, you know, like if I wanted to move this thing as though it's moving along a corner, right? So think about like maybe a door or something like that would be a good example. Let's look at this in all the views here so we can see a little bit more about what we'd be working with. So if I enable access and I move this directly on this corner right here, something like that. Now when I rotate this, it's gonna rotate along that corner, right? So imagine like a door or a hinge or something like opening up, or if you wanted this to tip along that edge, like it's a can sort of tipping over, then that axis is gonna be a better way to try to animate it, okay? So again, enable access can help you with your animations for points of movement and also rotation and kind of working through those sort of things. So again, it's here when it's blue, you can move it. And when it's gray, the object is affected.